a short and sweet video, but to remove an ARC-7 hatch, all you really gotta do is release it. You don't have to let it go up. It's probably easier to let it stay down, but um, when you release it, I'm removing this hatch to do some body work and all. But there are two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the hatch to the hinges on each side. But it's kind of hard to squeeze in. Well, you can put a wrench in there, but it'll take a while to turn that, unless it's a ratchet wrench. And it's a lot harder to put a socket in there because you can't put a ratchet with a socket. Uh, I don't know, that distance maybe a, a quarter inch would work, but uh, I'm not gonna try to fit that high space. Instead, if you have the, this is if you have your fender liner off. My whole car is gutted, by the way. But if you have the fender liner off, you have a different option. You got four, oh, you got two on the driver's side and two on the passenger side. You got four 12 millimeter sockets that can take this off. And that's the route I'm gonna go. This is just another route if you have your fender liner off. And shoot, I don't remember. I think that's all fender liner. Well, if you got your fender line, sorry, headliner. If you have your headliner off, then you most likely have your uh, rear quarter sections off too. Why well, I say fender liner? If you just need the hatch off and you're keeping all the interior in, yes, it's doable with 10 millimeter bolts from uh, just, by pop, just by popping the hatch. And that can be done. Either way, oh, uh, sorry. Also, either they gotta be disconnected from here where it mounts to the car or here where it mounts to the hatch. I am most likely gonna do it from both ends because I'll be putting some lizard skin in this car and I'll take these out and stuff it with some either paper towel or aluminum foil or some of the other so my threads don't get filled up with lizard skin. But just to get the hatch off, I'll take it off from here. And what's gonna happen here, let's let's find out. Let's see how that comes off. So I'm gonna be taking them off from the point they meet the hatch with a 12 millimeter wrench. So I got both sides disconnected and the hatch is actually quite heavy without those gas struts doing work. Mm -mm. Oh, let's get that out of the way. Damn, that is heavy. My white RX-7's gas struts went out and it's heavy. I thought water might have been in it. No, it's just as heavy. Guys, this is heavy. Yeah, that's heavy. Those struts are doing work. So I will need new gas struts for the White RX-7, that means. All right, so that's it connected. Once I unbolt the hatch, the, the uh, hinges from the inside, I should be able to remove the hatch and go store that elsewhere and be able to sand down on, what do you call it, the channels? I'll be able to sand down the channels on, on the hatch. Uh, I will say uh, you have to disconnect some wiring, one on each side that passes through some holes. But I've pulled the wiring out a long time ago. Uh, you don't have to go Hulk or Super Saiyan to lifting this up or yanking wiring out. And this one will probably be removed because I'm not gonna be using a rear antenna. I'll mount my own under the dash. But besides that, that's it, all I gotta do is Lift this up and go store it somewhere else, and that's it. Nothing else to it, that's an RX-7 FD hatch removal. What's that over there? Trimmed in red. What that is? Clear up, don't, don't mess with us. Well that is a one, that's a 10. 10.